Do you need to remove the rear drum on your Fiesta? But have you been scared off by the uh, workshop manual telling you you've got to undo the hub nut to get the uh, drum off? Come with me, let me show you another way to do it. Jack the car up, support it on an axle stand and don't forget to chock a front wheel because you've got the handbrake off. Stay safe. Come round the back of the hub. If you look through the coils of the spring, those bolts hold the hub to the uh, back plate and the axle. Now you will need an extension bar to get through the coils of the spring, but also use an extension bar or an adapter that allows you to wobble your socket because that top right hand one, the one you just saw that's already got a socket on it, because of the position of the brake pipe union, you cannot get straight onto it. I would suggest doing the top right bolt first. You'll need a 17 millimeter socket for those. I suggest you leave two bolts diagonally in their threads. Then come round the front and make sure that the hub is actually loose. With an 8mm socket, remove the bolt that holds the ABS sensor in. Back round from the front, if you've left the top right hand as we're now looking at it, bolt in place, you can reach in and undo it and remove it. Now, withdraw the hub. It may be a little tight on the uh, on the shoes but don't forget of course that the ABS sensor is still connected we don't want to damage the wire and with a flat blade screwdriver carefully put it into the gap for the reluctor withdraw the sensor and off comes the hub now we've got access to the brake shoes and all of the workings uh, so you now you can replace the brake shoes, tidy it up, place the wheel cylinder. I'm actually in here today to check that the handbrake lever is uh, not seized on its pivot. Uh, that's the handbrake lever there on the trailing shoe. Whilst we're in here with the drums off, check the thickness of your friction material. First of all measure the back plate, 1.7 millimeters in this case. Now the thinnest area of friction material will normally be at the leading edge of the leading shoe. I'm measuring 4.3 there, which means I've got about 2.3 millimetres of material left. On the trailing edge of the trailing shoe, it's a total of 5.5 there, so about 4 millimetres of material left. The minimum you should let brake shoes get down to is 1.5 millimetres, so I've got a little under a millimetre left on here. They start at about 6 millimetres uh, thick when they're new, so I've lost 4 millimetres there in about 100,000 miles. So that's one millimeter per 25,000 miles of, of driving. So I can gauge from that that these brake shoes will be due for replacement in around 15, maybe 20,000 miles, which is about 18 months to two years with the mileage that my son does on this car.